uh, Flexo 3D. Oh, Flexo 3D's here. I don't know if that's because I was talking about you, but welcome. Uh, Flexo says, I know that low C rating hurts power and can hurt the battery, but is it harder or easier on the ESC? Uh, kind of like a battery is a fuse. I don't think so. Uh, I can tell you that a high C rating can damage the ESC. Now, before you run around and say, Bardwell said a high C rating hurts your ESC all over the internet, stop, listen to what I'm, listen to the whole thing. If the ESC can't quite handle the current of the battery, like the ESC is just under spec like we saw this, I'm not, I don't remember the exact quad it was. So I, I'm, I think it was a tiny Hawk. One of the tiny Hawk, one of the first tiny Hawks that ran on 2S. If your battery, when you, when they swapped the connector, that's what it was. It was when they swapped the connector to an XT30. The XT30 had lower resistance, which meant that more current could flow from the battery. And suddenly people started frying their ESCs. I'm not a hundred percent sure that it was the tiny Hawk. So I should grain of salt, but so a low C rate battery can protect the ESC from current surges and voltage surges that could fry the ESC. Now, while you're flying, you also are getting lots of voltage sag and the quads flying like shit. So, I mean, have a good ESC and have a high C battery, uh, but a low C battery is going to make the quad fly worse, but it's not going to hurt the ESC. I guess low C could protect the ESC, but at the cost of the battery flying badly.